Today we're making this sparkly jingle bell piece of Christmas decor. Keep watching. We're going to start off with this box that I already had around my house, so it was free for me. It's just a little wooden box. It's pretty shallow. I'm going to get those measurements here for you. It's more of a rectangle than a square. I'm going to take a bag of your choice, as long as it's going to fit in the box that you choose to use. And this one came from Dollar General, I believe. I've had it for a few years in my Christmas decoration and wrapping box. I'm going to cut out the front side of this. One side of this bag is sparkly and iridescent and the other side is plain so we're going to use the sparkly side. Just going to put my box down there and make some marks where I'm going to be cutting. Be sure that you trim that up inside of those lines so that it will fit down in your box. But don't worry if it's a little bit larger than you want because you can trim it down a little at a time until you get it the size that you want it. So I'm considering some trim here and I'm going to give you some options. This piece of beaded garland or wire came from Dollar Tree. You could use this for a more farmhouse look. This is some jute cord that came from Dollar Tree. And this is some decorative ribbon or cording that came from the Christmas section of Dollar Tree. This, I think, gives it a, a nice vintage look. Now you're going to use a couple of dots of hot glue to put down your bag inside of the box if you want to use it again. Or for something more permanent, you could use a glue stick or some Mod Podge. Just pressing that down to make sure it stays in and that there are no lumps and bumps under there. I've got my handy dandy finger protectors on and I'm going to run a bead of hot glue down the side there. I like my seams to be in the corners but you can put yours wherever you like and I'm going to layer this with jute on the bottom and then I'm going to use some of that sparkly cord on the top because I like the kind of a frosty or icicle look that it's going to give this piece reminds me of some old-fashioned Christmas decorations with the tinsel and the garland so just continue along. You want to focus your glue line right in the corner so that you can snug that piece of jute right into the corner because we're going to put another piece on top. This cord is thicker than the jute and it's going to sit sort of on top of that. So we're going to use the same process. I'm going to start on the bottom, but this time in the other corner so it doesn't get too bulky. I'm going to run some glue down there. And press it against the box and the other piece of cord. You know, if you wanted to, you could probably use like a decorative box top and make a piece of decor out of that. This is just what I had and it's really thin, it's very, very lightweight box. And this way I get two uses out of it because I can use the top of the box for another sign later on. Just to give it a little extra sparkle, I've decided to run this along the inside border too gives it a finished look. I've done this before with jute, but I'm going to do it with this decorative cord this time. You can just take your little spatula or stick, whatever you have, and just press it into the side and into the corners. Try to get that glue as close as you can to the corner so you don't make a mess. It's just going to give you a nice, it's going to give you a nice clean look. So 
Dollar Tree also has some that I think it's like a red and green and gold cord. I have some of that too, but it didn't match with this particular piece. Once you get it close to the corner, go ahead and trim it. You don't have to trim it completely short. You just go back in there and fix whatever's left that needs to be re removed. And glue that down, just like that. This little spatula came from a set that I got at Hobby Lobby this fall. And I have some Jingle Bells that were already in my stash from a few years. They were actually not in my crafting uh, supplies, they were with my Christmas decor. I'm going to use a piece of this jute and just push it through the ends and put three bells together. If your jute is coming unwound, you can use a little candle wax on it or a little bit of hot glue to dab on the end and twist it to make it into a little point so that you can thread it. You could also use a piece of clear tape. I'm going to just tie a couple of knots in there to secure it. And now I'm going to work on a stand. Now this is square and it would stand by itself, but it's so lightweight that any type of wind or vibrations will probably knock it over. And I have a house that is raised. It's not on concrete. So walking around on the floor can knock this over. So I've decided to take these little wood blocks that came from the crafter section in Dollar Tree and make a little stand for the box. It gives it a little extra support so it's not easily knocked over. You could probably use those little Jenga type building blocks if you wanted. Okay, so since I've already got the stand on here, I went ahead and propped this up on a roll of ribbon just to give it a little support while I work. A couple of more knots to give it more surface there. And I went ahead and trimmed that off. Now I'm gonna make some bows to go in the corner because you will see these cute little bows on a lot of the old Christmas decorations and I wanted to give it some more sparkle so just a real easy bow that I made there and I'm trying to get an idea of where I might want to place my jingle bells so here are a few options for you you could also take some of those little bottle brush trees if you wanted to like in white and put those there on the base that would be super cute with this I think so one more bow and I'm gonna use the jute for this I'm gonna put it underneath and then pull those ears out so that they're the same size and I like the look of that layered bow little glue in the corner is going to hold that down just hold it for a moment until it's stable then I'm gonna put my bills in the corner so we we'll put the hot glue on there and just press it up into the corner and hold it for just a minute. And I have my cute little jingle bell sign. You can top this off with some of these metal signs from Dollar Tree. They come in these three packs. I think it's peace, joy, and something else. So that just will give you an idea of how something like that would look. But I think I'm going to leave it like this. I like that it's a little on the simpler side and it's somewhere between maybe a vintage look and a farmhouse look. Also maybe a little rustic and possibly glam since it's sparkly. I think it would work in a lot of different types of decor. What do you think? You can see the iridescence there and it just looks like pretty snow and I love it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you come back to see me. If you're not subscribed, I hope you hit that subscribe button, and give me a thumbs up if you've been enjoying these Christmas videos. I'll see you again soon. Bye.